Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and in this one I'm going to show you the new NetSync attribute for fields and properties. We've added this to release version 3, so you can start using it as soon as you get that release version or later. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to edit this move script that we have. I have a forge example move, which comes with the package, so uh, you can actually follow along with this script. Secondly, I'm going to make sure that the scene name inside of the quick start menu is set to forge hello cube resources because the cube that spawns in there has the move actually a part of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make the field that I'm going to serialize public int number equals zero. And to serialize it across the network, I do net sync. And I just add the attribute above it and we're done. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so if I press spacebar, this number increments. So I'm going to come down to the bottom of this update and just say if input get key down key code dot space. Then I'm going to say number plus plus. I'm just going to increment the number. So we're going to jump back over here, let that compile. And I'm going to open up the build settings. So in the build settings, I want to make sure I have the quick start menu and the resources scene loaded in. And in the player settings, so I'm going to make sure run and background is on. So I'm going to build and run, and we're going to see this. I'm going to select the cube for the client in the editor, and we're going to see it uh, serializing the variable across the network. Okay, now that it is built out, I'm going to make sure it's windowed mode, choose a small resolution, press play. And then in the editor, I'm going to press play, and I'm just going to start the server in the editor. So host server. So this is my cube, so the next cube that comes in is the one I'm going to select. There's that cube. So it's going to be this cube. Now we have this number here that's inside of the inspector, and if I come over here and press spacebar, you'll see that it actually increments that number on the server. So now our, our variable is being serialized across the network, and when we change it with the spacebar, it gets sent across the network uh, only on change. So uh, that's, basically, that's basically it for the net sync, and we can actually do a little bit more. So we're going to go into a more complicated version now that we have this working. So I'm going to jump back into uh, this script, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that when this variable changes, it calls a function. So I'm going to add in... Uh, some extra field or some extra parameters to this constructor of this attribute. So the first one is going to be the method I'm going to call. I'm going to call a method I'm going to call print. And the second parameter is the network callers, which is who is going to call this method whenever it gets updated. Is it going to be everybody, others, or the person owning it? So I'm going to do everyone so that everyone gets it. And I'm going to make the function print. So public uh, void print. And it's just going to say debug.log. Uh, the number has been updated to, and then number. So now that we have that in there, we have our function print, which matches up to this string. I'm going to save this, jump back, rebuild, and we'll go through the process of uh, seeing it uh, serialize across the network again. Right, now that it is finished building, I'm going to press play, get this going. I'm going to start up the server the same exact way I did last time. I'm going to host the server over here. This is my cube guy. Uh, notice if I press spacebar, you'll see the number has been updated to 1, 2, 3, so it's been updated. I'm going to go over here and say join. Now the second one has come in, so when I press spacebar, it should say 1 for that one. So I'm going to press spacebar, and you'll see uh, 0, oh, it, because it is actually firing the function before it has been updated. So I'll fix that whenever we uh, send this out. I'm sending it out tonight. So if I press spacebar, you'll see that it continues to count up. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 being sent across the network from the client to the server. And that's all we need to do to serialize the variables. Um, so if you have any questions, please let me know. And uh, we will uh, talk to you later. Hello, I'm back. We made the necessary edits to fix that bug where it was calling the function before the value updated. It actually had to do with our linear interpolation system. Uh, was Our linear interpolation wasn't finishing. Um, we had it turned on for some weird reason. Uh, but now that bug is fixed, so now if we go to the server and join with IP address, uh, when I press spacebar the first time on the client, it will start from 1 because that's actually what it is by the time it calls the message. So again, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them and uh, join the community, talk, you know, talk amongst yourselves, make your own tutorials or whatever. Uh, please let us know and uh, I'll talk to you later.